Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau dashboard that I have prepared for you. And this dashboard is more from the perspective of design uh, rather than the complex visualization. You can create as many complex visualization within Tableau as you want, but if you are not properly ordering it or ordering it in some different way, which makes sense, then your dashboard gives a valuable information. And over here, I want to show you one design concept that I just explored while I was thinking about a new design, which can be very useful. And as you can see over here for this design, this has these four KPI blocks. So generally, if you see KPIs are either present in a row or in a column, but here I have tried to present it as part of a block, which is a four block, and then a trend information um, after trend information to show the order count of orders over a period of time then down there the order value by product subcategory and finally the order value by region so this dashboard is basically communicating everything about the order what is the order count order value minimum order value maximum order value what's the trend what's the by product category by region so when whenever you are creating a dashboard think uh, have this thing in the mind about the central theme of the dashboard so that the component that you are having within the dashboards are related and what components are making sense or what components requirement or what analysis requirement like a trend analysis or you want to see the portion with the contribution of each values or you want to see a bit of a trend along with contribution then what different type of chart that you need to use. After that, um, you know, showing it in a proper way as to what the theme is, if you would see that down at the back, you have this black or a dark background and I have some matching themes and the matching colors over here, uh, whenever I'm presenting or whenever I'm creating any object. So let me show you about, about this dashboard, what I have done and how you can create a similar one. So the first thing is the order count. So what we will do is come to this order count sheet over here. Um, so if you see, let me just come out of the uh, exit this mode. Yeah. So now I'm in an edit mode and let me go to the order count. So order count, if you see that the background color of the sheet and even the title is the same and you can basically right click over here and go into the format and within the format, you can come into come over here and here in the worksheet, I have used this particular color which you can go into the more color and if i show you the rgb coding this is the rgb coding that is going in each and every sheet background so so you either have the hex color or the rgb coding for this if you like this color so that whenever you are producing this similar dashboard you have the same color coding or if you want different color then it's up to your choice but that's the color coding i have for rgb as well as the hex color which you can note it down from here all right, so what I have created is a very simple one. As you can see, I have the count of orders. The count of orders is an automatically populated field, uh, which, which is coming in this new version of Tableau. And I'm using Sample Superstore, which is coming with the Tableau. So that way you won't have to be really bothered about the data. However, I have the link below down the description, so you can get it. So that's a very simple order count. However, if you see the, the order, count 9994 and their respective uh, text or account is present here. I'm not using this title, which is coming with the sheet, but the one which is associated with the text, right? So what I can, what I have done is I've gone inside into this text in the text component here. This is the default formula, which is being taken from here. And below to that, I am using the order count and I have, I'm just using the text size as 10. Okay, so that's a similar setting I have even in the uh, average order value. The only thing is the formatting. I have used the formatting sign. So what you can do is for that is come over here, uh, go to format and in the numbers, you go to currency custom and you use no decimal value what I suggest, but up to you. Uh, after that, what treatment you want for negative value. You want to show negative value like this, 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 so this, I have just selected this one because that's what I like. Um, then if you have, 
very large value like millions or in billions then i strongly recommend that you use these so that you don't have a very large or very long value with multiple zeros or multiple numbers that's not usually that's basically very hard for people to interpret right so that's that's something you can use and then you have the prefix and suffix i'm using dollar even i can use suffix as well so up to you what do you want to use uh for for this particular one I, i'm not using anything for now however i think in the maximum order value i'm using a uh, different suffix value like k or the thousand okay so similar way i have thousand this minimum order value just basically to tell however this is all dummy as you would expect because this is just for the presentation and the main idea is that you get this dashboard okay so what is the minimum order value what is the maximum order value so here if you see i have dollar and k and this is based on if i come here on the format on the numbers i'm using the display unit as k and that's why it is coming over here however i am also having the liberty to use whatever i want i don't want to use capital k i want to use small k then maybe i can use that or anything else which which makes sense for my analysis all right and after that uh, very simple order trend however just to make it little bit interactive you can see that i am using a different type of trend and that's basically available from the path so if you come to the path you will see that i am using this one i have option of using this one generally you see trends like these which is connected lines but this is what you call a step line chart so step by step it shows what the information is coming you have third option as just displaying the uh, these particular uh, sort of horizontal line uh, this is also meaning uh, can be useful in certain scenarios uh, but for now i am using this step line chart which i like and if you see the color that i am using is also a pretty sip a light version of this dark version so that it feels like the line is a part of the chart and not like a white line which is like completely different from what color i am using so it basically matches the entire theme of the dashboard after that very simple i am using the same theme a uh, similar theme color so for that this is the average sales what i have done is gone inside the color i am using the custom sequential i have gone inside the color used this uh, color picker and clicked over here and when i clicked it over here it has created this theme for me automatically so that the background theme is matching up with this front theme all right similar way is order by region i have done that same same color settings that i am using it over here uh, for the purpose of showing the information of average order sales by each respective region what is their value and it is clearly shown so everything when you clubbed it together is something what you are creating over here as a dashboard but here is an important thing if you will see all of these values are basically floating values so for example if i show you this one this is a floating object i can move it wherever i want right so what it gives me is basically the flexibility as to how to place and where to place so that i can get the output that i need right so what i did the first thing i picked up uh, the higher level um a higher level panel and that is your tiled panel which i in the tiled i think i chose the vertical one if you see and gave the color coding as black right or maybe uh, slightly lighter than black but it looks like it's a it's a black one because i could see the rgb coding uh, over here if you see 0120 here so first thing is what that's what i did after that you have this text component right on text co after text component uh, you know what i did is produced these views how you can put uh, like a floating one because generally if you try uh, let's say i'm going into this new dashboard if i bring this over here it occupies the entire space right and one more thing before i go ahead just to make sure you get like this value in the center or the kpi in the center always make sure that you have this entire view right otherwise it won't come like that you will get value here at the top left so what i did is i am using the entire view 
to keep it uh, in the middle and then in the text alignment is center right this is a center alignment so usually where i get the detail is like here and when i put center it comes over here so that it works perfectly whenever i'm putting it as a tile over here so coming back over here uh, whenever we get any sheet it comes like this so i'll just remove this what i'll do is i press shift and then bring it over here drop it and then i'm removing my shift key okay what i can do is right click and hide this title and i have this style ready right so that's what i have done for over all the four different one oops sorry all the four different one i've just put it like this one over here similarly i put it this one this 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 all of them i have put it like this uh, everything is a different component for example this this bar chart is also a floating and a different component this line is a different component altogether if you would see this one even this this text is is a component this is a text component that is floating again you hold down the shift key click on the text and drag it over here and then remove the shift key you will get a floating component same is the case with this one same is the legend same is this particular component the only thing you would see over here is basically the alignment which is looks like everything is properly aligned and uh, you know it it gives an impression uh, of a good dashboard where one can go and look at multiple metrics and get the output now this segment and uh, and category is basically two different filters so if i want to filter let's say i want to see it for only consumer i click apply and dashboard is updated similarly i want to see it for corporate i click apply and corporate is updated i want home office select this apply so always make sure this apply button is enabled otherwise you know it gives a very bad impression where all the components are gone whenever you are unchecking everything and that that gives uh, uh, an impression for a moment that there is something wrong with the dashboard right why all the components are going so what it does it it holds the reactivity it or it holds that reaction so that if nothing is selected you have the current view in front of you right so if you don't know how to get these buttons it's pretty easy you go inside this and uh, customize and oops customize and click on show apply button and you will get these apply buttons as well right so this these buttons i am putting it at top and i'm making sure that the filters is basically applied to all the components since i am using only one data source so i've just said okay uh i want to apply it on all the components which is using this data source so that that's how you can uh, basically make sure that each component is getting filtered based on what i'm selecting here same is the case with this one yeah so here you see i have not used the apply button so see what happens if i click on all everything is removed right it gives an impression okay what's going on what's what's really happening behind the scenes why i can't see anything so once i select furniture it shows me the value or if let's say i remove the furniture again everything is gone and coming back here so how you can hold the reactivity by going here customize and show apply button right and now if i uncheck this all right i uncheck this nothing is happening i select technology and i click apply that is much more better way of presenting the information with the help of the apply button all right so that's mainly i wanted to show you about how you can create a dashboard like this it's all about putting it at you know at the different orders i have put it like this and if you like this template the template link is present in the description if you want to get it or if you want to create on your own then you can create it one last thing is uh, this component uh, the background component so over here if you see dashboard uh, i can take the vertical component layout come here select the black one and you have got the component in the background and you can just keep selecting the multiple sheets and create a dashboard like this right so that's mainly i wanted to show you how you can create a design like this one which is slightly busy but gives a good look and feel as to what the uh, uh, you know different components that is related to one single metric which is orders and get the most out of it for your business users so that's about it and i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic